The College of New Caledonia wants to help small and medium businesses step into the digital age. It's a pilot program that has never been tried before and is already meeting with success. This is the new GIS department at Kim Forest Management, thanks to some help from the federal government and the new digital technology adoption pilot program at the college. To promote and to raise awareness around digital technologies. And so what we're trying to do here is to work with industry associations and small and medium sized enterprises to help them innovate and become more productive and create more opportunities for themselves through the use of digital technology and by building digital skills in their workforce. KFM fit the bill perfectly, a smaller business that has opportunity to grow with new technology. It was an opportunity for, for us, for KFM, to get onto the digital world, adopt some of the digital technology, and uh, gain the advantage, I guess, the advantage uh, with help from the government. So it was a good fit for us. It's not only a boost for KFM, but for the college and the students and faculty as they tackle real-world challenges. For us, what we what we've, uh, are doing with the DTAP program is um, we're setting up a remote sensing and GIS department. And, uh, so we've had a department, I guess maybe a better way to put it is we're boosting it so um, that we can compete in the, in the world of uh, natural resource management using GIS and remote sensing. KFM has been part of the pilot program for less than a year, but it's already coming through for the company, which was able to modestly expand. We've had a few months into it now, and it's, it's gone well. And, and for us, it's provided us the security to be able to make the investment in um, you know, department manager and equipment to, uh, to develop the, our program, GIS and remote sensing. CNC has geared its program to target businesses specific to this region and is looking for more to come on board. We're collaborating with the Northern Lights College and Northwest Community College so that we can have a broader range uh, or so that our program can impact more of the, this part of the province. So we even are looking at small and medium sized enterprises involved in mining perhaps uh, to the west of us or in the oil and gas industries to the north of us. The college received $200,000 for the 18-month program, but the hope is to make it a permanent feature for this region's small and medium-sized industries. Cheryl Jan, CKPG News.